In this video, I am going to show you how to set up Microsoft SQL 2017. First, we have to download the Microsoft SQL 2017 server. I have already added download link in description. So, I am just searching on the browser Microsoft 2017 and finding the page for downloading. I got the page for downloading. Select the language and press the download button. Then open the downloaded exe. After executing that exe file, you could able to get three options, basic, custom, download media. The basic and custom is, it will start to install automatically. The third option, download media, you will get the option for downloading the entire SQL software. So I am just using that one for installing the separate step. I click on download media. So here you will get the option for selecting the language as well as different type of SQL packages. I am just choosing Express Advanced. If you want to change the download location, we can change. But I am just keeping the same location. and press download button so it will start to download and just doing the fast forwarding Once download finish, we can click the open folder so we can able to see the downloaded files. So now you can see the files are downloaded in download location. I am just executing the downloaded file. So it will ask for extracting, extracting. I just press the same location. I am not changing any location. So I am just press OK. It has extracted into the same download folder. Once after extracting, it will automatically start the installation. Here we will get the installation options. This is a fresh installation of SQL Server. So I need to select the first option, New SQL Server Standalone Installation. If you have already added an SQL Server, if you require to add more feature, you can use the same link because after that you will get the option for selecting the other features. So I am just using the first option and accept the license agreement. And if you want to check the update, we record in the I am not selecting that. I am just pressing next. Installation step is initiated. In feature selection, you can see many features are already selected. So, I want to remove two of them. One is machine learning service R and Python because it's required some other services, otherwise, it will get some errors. I press the next.
here you can see named instance named instance means we are giving a name for sql server if we are having multiple sql instance so we can put our own name custom name we can use or default name we can use this name we will get automatically from the sql installation if we want to install different name we can use different name actually i am continuing with the same name just click next this is the option for microsoft sql services i am just clicking next database engine configuration this is a major part of sql server here two type authentication mode you can see one is windows authentication mode second one is mixed mode windows authentication mode means we can use the present user for login with the microsoft sql the other one is we will get two option one is windows authentication that means already i have mentioned second one is we will get a extra username the user with the sa that means by default there will be a username sa and we have to enter the password so if you want to connect from the network we can use the sa username and password on that time windows authentication will not accept so here i am using mixed authentication mode i put password s cap letter sa at 123 if you go data directories you can change the location of root directory and database directory that database directory means where your data is saved so these all options you can change from data directories i am just leaving as it is but in the real time you have to make sure that the same data path you are using for the installation otherwise if is there any crash happen for the windows os the entire data will lose so make sure you are selecting the path is safe for the data storage db size management and backup location you can see other tabs so i am just leaving as it is and press next now it started to install i'm just fast forwarding for avoiding the installation lagging once after complete you can close the installation window and here you can check sql installation if you search sql you can see the components are installed for easy management of sql you required one more services that is sql management studio for that one we have to execute again the same exe so so i'm just going to execute the same exe in this time i have to choose install sql server management tool i press down that now it will redirect to microsoft website here we can download sql management studio i'm just pressing sql management studio 
on description i have attached management studio download location okay once after downloading we need to open the exe we have to press yes for the confirmation here you can see the location where you want to install and just using the same location that means default location for the installation i pressed install it will start to install automatically i'm just doing the fast forwarding Once after installation, you need to restart the PC. Uh, here I am just cancelling that. Then go to the start menu, search management studio. Now you can see SQL management studio. Just press on that. Here you can connect, which is the SQL server you already installed. I just clicked the same, so you can see the database, everything is here. In this case, we used Windows authentication. If you want to use network authentication, in that case, we need to go for IP address. Instead of server name, we can use IP address. In that case, if you are installing Microsoft SQL Management Studio in another server, you can use either IP or name with SQL Data Instant. Using the same details, you can able to access from other system. But in that case, you need to go for SQL Server Authentication. So I am just pressing the username and password. Then I am able to log in with that. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe.